I said, I loved my gift, BFF. I'm so appreciative. I really wanted that bad, but what happened last night cannot happen again. I don't want to give you the wrong idea. Okay, so she's telling you right off, hey, thanks for the bag. That was a great birthday gift. You are so sweet, but don't get the wrong idea that this is going to, quote, the next level. That is what she's telling you. No guy likes to hear that. I get that. <laughs> no. But welcome no, to Jerry. life. Why, you know, why, why did she take the bag? Why did she take the bag then? It was you a didn't gift. have to take the bag. We buy each other things all the time. This is nothing new. Right. Why? Why? Not, not for this price. Not for 16, baby girl. Let me read the oh, rest of on. it. What's the rest of it? He goes, I'm dead. I'm coming to pick it up today, so be home. And I said, you're not coming for anything. I'm not even home. First of all, I'm out with my man. He didn't <laughs> like that. Does he, he don't even know. That's the crazy part. What if he finds out? What if I hit him up and be like, guess what? On Harley's birthday, we were sleeping with each other. Hey, how do you feel about that? And guess what? She's still with you. And guess what? You know that Louis bag that she said she got for her mother? It's my bag. You're playing people on their emotions, and that's not fair, and that's not right. I don't care how you put it. You still with a person after you slept with me. BS theft or not, Jerry. you're still playing people's emotions, yes. and that's not cool, bro. It's okay. not cool. Okay. That's some gold digger. You, you a gold digger. Whenever he finds out, I'll just... But let me you. ask you a question. <laughs> Look, you see that? I'll just <laughs> move on. <laughs> like, are you serious? So, big homie, I don't like the tie, man. Hey, get, that, get rid of that tie. But first of all, man, you disrespecting the game. And you're not keeping it player. Let's let's just let's just put that out there first of all. And for those of you guys who are out there, I'm telling you, when you get in a situation like his and you start buying women's gift women gifts, and you know they're for the streets or they got a dude, there should be an understanding. You have to come to that understanding unless she makes it something other than that. And if you choose to to you know abide by whatever rules she set forth, that's just what it is. You get the buns on occasion. Anything extra that you decide to do is just extra. But don't be, and I hate to say it because I don't like to use terms like that, but the terms that, you know, Americans have used, that Indian giver thing. Yo, don't do that, man. If you decide to buy that woman a gift, propose, whatever, and you want to take your gift back, bro, why are you trying to make her your girlfriend? You know she got a girl. You know, you guys, and I had a conversation a, a couple couple days ago about this. I was sitting down with a few ladies at a bar, and I was talking to them about this. And you guys get the buns, man, and you lose your mind. You're not on the same type of time she's on. Whether you're on the friend zone and you get the buns, or you're trying to make something happen and you get the buns. You can't make your feelings... He's talking about you hurting people feeling this girl has a man from what she said. Why would you blow up her spot? And like, I'm going to tell the dude and da, 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 that you sleeping around like, yo, don't cut yourself off for some buns, man. Keep it cordial. As I always say to you guys, you keep it cordial. Everything's good. You you going to turn a woman off and you never going to get that again because you on that you on that. On that simp stuff, man. And you guys be like, but GR, he's sipping my buying her gifts. If he got it, man, hey, and she's down for it. But just because you buy someone something, a woman something, doesn't mean you should have access to her. You decide to do that on your own. You know, you feel me? So the conversation I was having with these young ladies, just to get back to it, we were talking about the friend zone. And I was talking about my thoughts on the friend zone, so on and so forth. Everything is about timing and why you, you know, I had guys in the comments saying that you shouldn't be saying that, bro. You trying, if you're actively trying, that's different. But if you just fall back, relax, you don't give a woman your non-sexual attention. You guys may end up hooking up. And this girl that I was talking to, she was like, and she may be watching this video right now because I told her to check me out. But you may be able to smash on some BS one night because she may just be feeling that way. No strings attached. And in the case of her, what she told me, she was just like, yo, she, one night it happened, dude caught feelings. And she's like, why are you catching feelings? Same thing when you got, you guys can't be like that, man. You guys can't be like women. The conversation that I was saying to them is that 
you have more guys blowing up women's phone as opposed to back in the day, 20, 30 years ago. Women would would ask, are you going to call me? Are you going to call me? Are you going to call me? Now they can't stop y'all from calling. And guys, this has to stop, man. You're not being centered. This guy is not being centered. He's suing her for a bag, I guess. Bro, and are you putting her business on? I mean, TR, it's not real. There's a bigger message here. That's what you guys need to understand about my channel. I don't care if it's real or not. Why are you reacting to things that aren't real? Just because it's not real doesn't mean it doesn't happen in real life, guys. Facts. My life's like a movie, so I can tell you that off top. But I say that to say, you understood this woman had a man. You're trying to make her wife. How are you going to make somebody wifey when they're married or they have a man? It does not go together, fellas. You guys need to cut that shit out. It does not go together. Relax. Take the pressure off. Let her come to you. You've already pursued her. And if you got the buns, keep it cordial. You check in every now and then to see how she's doing. And that's that. Not every week. Every now and then. Periodically. Just to see what's up. Just to, just to test the waters, as we like to say. Don't become an emotional meltdown with these women. You guys need to just relax, bro. Relax. Taking her to court and suing her for a bag because knowing that she got another dude, you know some dude, you know her main man is like digging her out every night. Or maybe every other night. Who knows, man? But I don't know, man. That's just my thoughts on it. And that's what I like to tell you guys. Like, just relax. Relax. There's no need for this, man. Just chill. Okay? Just chill. Everything will be okay. And if it doesn't, man, there's always another woman that's waiting on you. Just my thoughts, man. But let me know what you guys think, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Calendly and Linktree to book that one-on-one. -on -one. Make sure you guys purchase all my books and merch. Make sure you guys subscribe to my backup channel, JR Wisdom Unlimited. And yo, I appreciate you guys. We're about to hit 50,000 subscribers. It's coming. I'm going to do a few giveaways. So let's hurry up and run this up real quick up to 50,000. We're going to do this giveaway. We're going to do this dating show. It's going to get cracking. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing a lot more things to the channel. So, yo, make sure you guys add me on IG as well if you haven't. Add me right now. Follow me on IG. I'll follow you back. There's no big deal. There's no ego here, man. And with that being said, man, once again, I appreciate you guys so much. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's to be maker. And I don't know. Papa put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth.